Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is Zach with Learn Cybersecurity. Today I'm gonna to talk to you guys about things that you should know prior to considering cybersecurity as a career for you. Now this is something that I get very often on the IT Career Questions YouTube channel. Uh, people ask, you know, what type of basic should I know? Uh, what other technologies should I know prior to considering this as a career? Uh, different variations of those types of questions. Now, some people assume that you can just get into cybersecurity with no prior knowledge of technology whatsoever, right? And while yes, that is definitely possible, anything in life is possible, but what should you have as far as knowledge goes before considering this field as a career for you? And that's really the fundamental basics. You have to understand how a computer system works at a very basic level and even at a more advanced level and same with networking understanding protocols and vlans and different operations within switches and things like that those are kind of essential things that you should know if you're really looking as security uh, as a career for you now you could go and take like ethical hacking courses and, and pen testing courses and yes they're going to teach you what you need to know about being an ethical hacker or knowing how to pen test, right? And you're gonna learn a lot of networking stuff there, uh, a few different things about computer systems and, and things like that. But there's a lot of knowledge that you don't get from learning these courses or, or going through these courses. There's a whole gambit of information that is just left that you need to understand. So whether it's like a Windows operating system, for instance, you need to understand you know, how user accounts are created and managed and how groups are created and managed, as well as how the registry works, how different temp files work, how to read Windows logs, like security logs and things like that. Those are very important aspects of IT that you should have prior knowledge of before really jumping like headfirst into cybersecurity. Now again, you can do it without it, of course. I'm not trying to deter you away from this field. I'm just trying to give you a little bit of information on things that you could be doing to help improve your path. So if you have no prior knowledge or experience within IT, a great place to start is with CompTIA's A plus certification. That certification really gives you a wide knowledge of how different computer systems, networking, cloud, IoT devices, uh, even some cybersecurity um, objectives are within the CompTIA A plus certification. That will really give you a good fundamental knowledge of the things that you should know about within technology to really help you understand what you're doing within cybersecurity. Now you need to understand how some of these different technologies work because you're there to secure them or if you're looking to pen test or be ethical hacker, you're, you're looking to you know, manipulate these things in some ways. So really knowing how some of the different um, things work within operating systems will greatly help you. So the reason that this really comes up is because uh, so many people ask, you know, how can I get into cybersecurity with no prior IT experience or no prior IT knowledge? Well, starting off with an A+, that's a great place to start. You know, A+, is a great certification to really hone in on all the things that you should know at a very basic level. Now, from there, it's really determining what area within cybersecurity, you know, you're going for. So, even if you're looking at application security, right? You want to be a developer in some way, uh, developing applications. Even then having an A plus can greatly help you because you have to understand how applications will function within different operating systems or how applications function when they're communicating with the internet. So that's just really good knowledge to have. Now, a lot of this stuff you can learn along the way, but be proactive and do this ahead of time. Study for these things ahead of time so you're prepared for this stuff. So as you're going through your Pen Test Plus course or your uh, Certified Ethical Hacker uh, course certifications, you understand a lot of what they're talking about prior and you're not trying to backtrack and try to understand what they're talking about within these different certification courses and things like that. I hope this kind of makes sense because, you know, 
I don't want you guys to just go into cybersecurity and assume that you know just because you take one of these these courses that I mentioned that you know uh, you're going to learn everything that you need to know. You're never going to learn everything that you need to know. First of all, uh, the information technology is an ever growing field, and you constantly will be learning new things. But there is a great fundamental knowledge of technology that you can learn. So CompTIA is A+, CompTIA is Linux+, plus, the Network+, plus. those are all great certifications that can show you all the fundamental knowledge that you need to know about these different technologies. Uh, A+, plus covers many different areas within technology. The Network+, plus really shows you the fundamentals of how networking works. The Linux+, plus that shows you all about the fundamentals of the Linux operating system. There's also uh, CompTIA's Cloud+, Plus, uh, CompTIA's Server+, Plus. those are just great certifications to study for, to just understand at a fundamental entry level how some different technologies work. Now, a lot of people are going to tell you, start off with your CCNA. That's the best certification to get. Well, yeah, the CCNA is definitely a great certification to get if you're looking to specifically be network related only. If you're looking to be an ethical hacker, pen test, yeah, the CCNA is definitely a great certification. But still, at a basic level, not understanding how your computer systems work, that can be a downside for you. Like that could be detrimental towards your path. So you guys don't by all means have to go out and get an A plus or a network plus, but study the material that is covered within those certifications. It's very important. So, you know, build a home lab, spin up VirtualBox, spin up some different operating systems, get a switch off of eBay, get a router off of eBay. Just understand some of the basics about these different technologies before you really dive deep into cybersecurity as a career. It will greatly, greatly help you down your path. I hope this video helped you guys and rings true. I'm really trying to start at a fundamental, basic, entry level like area on this channel and we're building our way up. So this is just a start of uh, things that we're talking about and uh, there'll be more videos of course. So as always, take it easy.